Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I make these really cool collage kind of photo slideshow things in Instagram using Photoshop. It's much easier than you think. So for about the last year or so, I've been doing these really cool kind of photo collage slideshow type posts in my Instagram. Uh, it's where I take several images and make a collage out of them in Photoshop and then edit it in a way that when you're scrolling through Instagram, it kind of looks really neat and you can actually make the images a lot bigger. You can put multiple images on one shot and they all kind of like go over the middle uh, little border there that has on the Instagram. Uh, it makes it kind of unique and it, look, it looks really cool and I find my engagement for these posts is a lot better. So uh, let me show you how I do this in Photoshop. It's actually quite easy. Uh, so what we're going to do is open up our Photoshop. So I'm just going to go to File and then New. And I have a custom preset here set up already but what we want to do basically is for the width have 10,800 pixels and height of 1,350 pixels. And just resolution 72 and all this other stuff is fine. So we open. Now what we get here is this really slender and long canvas for our images. And this is basically um, what it would look like for having 10 of the Instagram single uh, canvases that you can use in Instagram lined up side by side into one big long canvas. So what you want to do now to make this much easier for you when you're laying out your photos, you want to go to View, down to New Guide Layout. And right now we have here columns and as number one. So I want to change one to 10. So now I have 10 different columns. And you want to keep width and gutter to nothing. And don't worry about the rows or anything else. And just go OK. So now what Photoshop has done for me is it added in these nice blue lines, which now show me the border between each of the images that I will create when I do my Instagram post. So you can see here, this is this will be one page. Let's just uh, zoom in on here a bit. So this here will be one page. This here will be a second page. This here will be a third page, and so on and so on. So now what I can do is um, I have several images that I want to use today already set up. So I'm just going to open these all up in Photoshop. So now, the first image I think I want to use for this is my picture of Levi Sherwood flipping in front of Osaka Castle during the Red Bull X Fighters. So I'm just going to Control A, uh, Control X, and cut this off. Go back to uh, my Untitled, Control V, and paste it. It's obviously way too large. So now I just simply size this how I want and move it over to the first couple pages. So now you can see with these borders, what's going to happen is this will be the first page people see, and this will be the second one. So now what I can do is I can just go through here and lay this out as I want and make like kind of a, a cool little photo collage as I think would be neat. So I'm just going to go through and do that now and show you what it looks like at the end. One thing I should mention is um, when you're posting this on Instagram, what's really good to have is on your first page is at least have a little bit of action um, something that really captures the person's uh, attention. If I was to just have this side here with the castle only on the first page, it might not be so exciting. So I always have like some really good action here at the beginning. And I think this action of Levi Sherwood flipping uh, is really cool. So I'm gonna have that there first. So let's just I'm just gonna go on and kind of create the rest of the post.
Okay, so here's our layout done. Uh, we'll take a quick look through just to show you what I've done. It's uh, pretty simple. I've never been, I didn't, wasn't too crazy creative on this one. Uh, just real simple. Uh, one thing I do recommend though is you have the images over this little blue line here, that's the border. You want to have the images kind of overlaying this so that when people are looking at Instagram and they see, they want to know that, oh, there's another image coming up, so I want to keep on sliding. Just you know, grab their attention and keep them looking and sliding through your images longer. So just a quick boom, you know, these are just all images I've taken over the last uh, few years with Red Bull that I really like. And so we'll just pop out here. Now before saving, we need to go to the Crop tool and select the Slice tool and hit the Slices from Guides box. So what this will do is actually slice the image up along these little blue borders. So now when we go to Export and Save for Web, and again, go to save. Now I'm just going to save this to my desktop. We'll call it uh, Instagram Best of Red Bull. And one thing I really want to make sure I do here is have slices to all slices. And this should be images only. It's fine. Default setting is great. And I hit save. So let's see what that did. So now I go to my desktop here. And what it's done is it's created this images folder. So now I want to go to the images folder, and here are all my images. So I'll just uh, check these out. So, you know, first image, second, third, fourth, fifth. So it sliced these up in the perfect way for me to post them now onto Instagram. So now what I want to do is to post these onto Instagram, I want to get these onto my phone. I'll go to AirDrop. And where is my phone? <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm using it here. Okay, so there's my phone. So now I want to have these all selected. Select uh, Command A. Come over and drop these into my phone, which is now here, and I accept. And now I have these on my phone as well. So you can see these here. So now, next we want to do is just go over to our Instagram. Go to my page. I'm going to do a new one. And basically what I want to do here now is just go through, uh, I'll pick the first image first, make sure I make it as big as it can be, and select multiple images. Go through and select all 10 of our images. And go next. And now you can see here I have them all laid out. Really cool. Uh, this black line is just showing where the images are, you know, the difference in the images, but it'll look fine when you actually post it. And yeah, so that's gonna look really cool. Um, one little tip is, uh, you know, adding a bit of the uh, the Instagram filter onto it, even if you don't want to do it too much, because it looks stupid if you do too much. Just add a little bit, and apparently the algorithm likes that, so we'll just do that there. Go to done, next. Uh, so yeah, now that we have that already, we're just gonna add a quick caption. Um, tag all the people in it, add some locations, and just uh, just share. So here we have it, and you can see how it's you know flawless. It goes through really nice. All looks really good. Sweet. So yeah, that's really cool. So now one thing you might be thinking is, hey, you know, maybe I don't want to post all ten of the images. I just want to use two or three of the pages. Well, what's really easy here you can do is, and it's really cool is, so let's just say. I'm just going to go delete or Z here, and we'll just go through and actually just delete all of these extra images. And say that I just want to post this first one, but I want to do it in a way that's kind of popular with, say, model photos and stuff. So what I'm going to do here is post this so that I'll edit it down so that it comes out full size on the first page. So now you have this one image that you just want to you know, show that in your first page, but then you want to have it bigger on your second page to show. So I'm just going to do this, boom, boom, boom. And now I know that I want to do it as uh, this single one and then two big ones to s have people slide through. Okay, so now, you know, I have these three images like this and I have all this extra stuff here. Well, it really doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to cut this again, cut the guides, go, export, save for web, I'm just doing all this again, save everything, 
Now let's do Levi, and it already has this images folder, so it's just going to go there again. Save. We'll pop over there again. So what it's done now is I have you know the first image, second image, third image, and then a bunch of white images. Um, just erase those. Like really, it's so easy. Just erase these. You know, you could do the math for figuring out exactly how big you want the canvas to be. And then, you know, okay, today I'm going to post four, so now I'm going to make a canvas that size. Or today I'm going to post three, I'm going to make a canvas that size. If you're doing this a lot and posting these a lot to your Instagram like I do, I find that to be a complete pain. I'm really bad at math, and I can just can't be bothered. So what I actually have here on my desktop is I have this Instagram-based Photoshop document. Open this up. Hey, look at that. Everything's already sliced already. And I just use this every time. If I want to use three, I use three. If I want to use the whole thing, I use the whole thing. And then when I export it, I have some extra white boxes maybe. I just erase those. It's really easy. I don't have to deal with math every time and figuring out the size of the canvas each time you want to do this. So this is something I really recommend is once you've created this white canvas and the size for all 10 images, just save it as a Photoshop document on your desktop. Uh, I, say, I call it Instagram base. It makes it really easy. Uh, for future ones because you already have it made and then the extra white boxes that are created when you export it You can just easily erase those. It's super simple. So uh, yeah, you know, that's about it um, Really, it doesn't take that much time It uh, just depends on how creative you want to be and how much time you want to put in with the layout So uh, I hope this helps if you have any questions or comments feel free to hit me up down below and always you know subscribe uh, Hit like on the video and all that jazz and uh, yeah, cheers. Thanks again